but I know that until frame 30, that cup's not going to move. So what I can do is I can play it and stop it before it gets to frame 30. Select my particles, right? Easier to do it through the outline. Right? Select my particles in particle one, and then go to do end solver and say initial state set from current. You guys see where I did that? Got my particle selected. I go initial state or end solver, initial state set from current. So when I go back to frame zero, they're already down at the bottom of the cup. Are you going to have to reset that every time you change the nucleus? Or? Yeah, every time you change the animation, you, you're going to have to redo this. Now, I just set that once. I want to let it, now it'll start to solve from there. Right. So I'm going to play it from there. <laughs> So I'm going to let it go a little bit more. Yeah. Select your particles. End solver. Initial state. Right here. Did you move it to frame? What? I, I let it play up until frame like 27. Can, I, can you just drag, drag the... No, you can't drag. If you drag it, it won't play every frame and it won't solve correctly at that point. We'll stop it at 27. Yeah. yeah. Initial state set for current. And then I'm going to do this a few times. So I play up until it almost gets to frame 30. And solve our initial state set for current. I'm going to do that a few times. But you can see every time I do it, the fluid is a little more calm. Solver, initial state, set for current. Why do you do that so many times? Because I want the fluid to settle down completely. And after frame 30, it, the cup starts to move. So it won't get a real... So all the time until it's as calm as you want. So now when I play this, it's already at the bottom of the cup. I don't get that initial falling. So here's the, that play block. See how it, it starts out on a cup that's already at the bottom? Compare that to the other one we had. The wobble. Wobble. Can you do it sideways? See how it, it started at the top of the cup and shot down? That's not what you want. Big difference. Um, on the movie Ice Age, we did all of our animation shots started on frame 100 instead of frame 1 or frame 0, and that gave us 100 frames of empty space so that any simulations like this that need to happen, we couldn't do this in there. But any simulation that we wanted to do, we had that on the frame cushion so that the particles even could do whatever they needed to do. Um, we had waterfalls and stuff in the movie, um, and it gave them enough space so anything.